Hello, it's Simon Zucci here, and in this property education video, I wanna share with you my thoughts on the impact on you as a property investor from Jeremy Hunt's 2024 spring budget. Now, there's no hiding the fact that this has been a very political budget. Uh, everyone expects there's gonna be a general election later in the year, and both parties are campaigning at the moment to try and gain votes. And so the Conservatives have done this budget, which is obviously aimed to try and win favor with people, so people want to vote for the Conservatives. So there are four things that I wanna talk about in this video that are particularly interesting to you as a buy to let property investor. And I'm gonna start with one that's not the biggest one, but it's kind of important. So if you buy a portfolio at the moment, or if you buy a block of flats in one go, you get what's called multiple dwelling relief in terms of stamp duty. So instead of paying stamp duty on the entire value of the block, they look at the individual values of the value of the units and you pay less stamp duty. Well, that is being abolished. Now that's not gonna have much impact on the average buy to let property investor. However, People who are more experienced, who are buying portfolios and trying to buy blocks of flats, that might be a slight disadvantage. The next thing is probably the biggest thing. Now, what Jeremy Hunt said is the government are reducing the amount of tax they charge in terms of capital gains tax for higher rate taxpayers on property that is sold. Currently, if you're a higher rate taxpayer and you sell a property, capital gains is payable on the difference between what you bought the property for, what you sell it for, less any buying or selling costs, and less any capital improvements. So basically it's the profit you've had from the capital growth. Now, as property prices generally go up in the UK because we live on this island with a limited supply of accommodation and an increasing population, people who've had property 10, 20, 30 years will have significant capital gains. Now, think about this. If the Conservatives have brought this down, I think we're gonna see lots of landlords deciding to sell their properties. Now, we've seen more and more landlords over the last few years selling their properties because of changing legislation, because of things like Section 24, which I'm gonna talk about in a moment. And that means that it's been great if we're buying properties, uh, but it's caused a little bit of the market to come down because there've been a lot of landlords selling. Well, I think we're gonna see even more landlords deciding to sell this spring and this summer. Normally, you get a little bit of a boost to the property market in spring and into the summer, so you might get landlords who've been thinking about selling, waiting for the market to recover it to try and get the best possible price they can. However, they're gonna to want to sell their properties before a general election, because if the Labour Party get into power, I'm pretty sure one of the things they will do, they will increase the amount of tax people pay if you're a higher rate taxpayer selling an asset. They'll see it as an easy tax on rich people. So I'm pretty sure that's gonna happen. I'm sure lots of other landlords and buy to let investors might think the same. So if you can imagine, people might be trying to sell property in the new tax year to pay just 24% capital gains tax instead of maybe having to pay a lot more if they sell it, if Labour get into power. So I think that's gonna be one of the big factors that will affect the property market, more and more landlords selling up their properties for that reason. Now, the next thing that, the, uh, that Jeremy Hunt announced in the 2024 spring budget is that he is abolishing the tax relief for furnished holiday let properties. So what does that mean? Well, you might remember back in April 2017, the government brought in what's called Section 24. And that's where they say, if you're a higher rate taxpayer with a mortgage on a property in your own name, you could not claim the interest you pay on that mortgage and offset it against the rental income. So what it means is you're gonna pay more tax because of Section 24. That's one of the reasons we've seen many landlords selling. We've had a lot of people incorporate because if you put your property into a company, it's not affected by Section 24. So what some people did, they took their single let properties and they converted it into furnished toilets and serviced accommodation because that's seen as a business and it's not affected by Section 24. 
Now, there's been a bit of an outcry, and one of the reasons we are seeing increased and in, in new legislation for service accommodation and for furnished holiday lets is because in many uh, seaside and holiday resorts, there's a feeling that local people have been priced out of the market and cannot afford to buy and get onto the property ladder because so many investors are buying these properties and renting them out as furnished holiday lets or service accommodation. And so this might be seen as a ploy to try and gain favor with those local communities and say, we're supporting them. We're trying to stop these investors buying these properties. But in reality, I don't think there'll be many people who'll take their furnished holiday let and convert it back to a single let because service accommodation makes so much more profit. So I, although it might be a bit of a political play, I don't think it's gonna have any difference. Um, the government thinks it's going to raise about an extra three hundred million pounds in tax revenue for the treasury. So I can see absolutely why they are doing that. Um, the next thing uh, they talked about, uh, Jeremy Hunt talked about expecting inflation to come down. Now the government target, the Bank of England target, is two percent. It's come down from four percent in January, and Jeremy Hunt was saying he expects inflation to come down in the next few months, which is actually about twelve months faster than they predicted when they did the November budget. Now, is that gonna happen or not? I don't know, I have my doubts because of the cost of goods that are in fact, uh, affected that are being imported from China because of all the problems in the Red Sea and the Suez Canal and things having to go around Africa now, it means all imports from China are far more expensive. And so I think that's gonna have a real knock-on effect in inflation. But let's say that Jeremy Hunt is right and he has whole teams of people coming up with this information, obviously. Let's say he's right, and if we see uh, inflation come down to that target 2%, that could be really good news for you and me as buy-to-let property investors, because the Bank of England might well lower their Bank of England base rate, because their goal, by using interest rates to control inflation, if inflation has come down, they might bring the Bank of England base rate down. And that's really good news because it means our buy-to-let mortgages will cost us less. So if you pull some of this stuff together, imagine that we have more landlords putting their properties on the market in the spring and in the summer for sale. So there's more choice for us, causing more of a buyer's market. And at the same time, mortgages become more affordable. I think a lot of investors will rush out and try and snap up some property deals. So that in itself might cause the property market to come up. So with the increased supply, but also the increased demand, maybe because of better interest rates, I think it'll probably balance itself out. So I don't think on average, we're gonna see much growth in the UK property market this year. But who knows? And I think also it would depend what happens in the general election later in the year. If Labour get in, and who knows what's going to happen, I think there'll be some big changes in the following year in 2025, which probably will not be very good for property investors. So that's pretty much what I wanted to cover in this video. I do hope it's been useful. Uh, please like it. Please comment. I'd love to know what do you think is going to happen to the property market? What do you think about these changes? A lot more things were announced in the budget. I've just focused on things that affect us as UK property investors. But what do you think is going to happen? Make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so whenever timely videos like this come out, you'll be one of the first person to be notified and get up to date what's happening in the property market. Very often, when changes happen, many people are worried and sit back and do nothing, but those of us who know what we're doing, it's often a real opportunity to get in and get some fantastic property deals. So I really would encourage you to watch these videos, take plenty of notes, and always take some action. What are you gonna do as a result of watching this particular video? Personally, I think doubling up on the campaign to reach out to landlords, whether it's landlord letters or, or word of mouth, whatever it might be, looking for more landlords, I think is a really good idea, because as I said, I think more landlords are probably gonna be deciding to sell this spring and this summer. I do hope that's been useful for you. As ever, I encourage you to invest with knowledge, invest with skill. Before you go, if you haven't been to one of our property investor network meetings, we have network meetings all over the UK in the evening, once a month, probably very close to where you live or work. We also have two meetings in the Netherlands and also one in Dubai as well. So if you want to connect with other like-minded investors, find out what's happening in the market, be inspired by learning what other people just like you are doing in the local property market, and also pick up some of the latest information and strategies, come along to your local property investor network meeting. If you've never been before, you can go to pinmeeting.co.uk 
pick your location, scroll down to the bottom of the page, and if you click where it says um, pay now, uh, actually use, click on where it says voucher code and use the code YouTube and you actually come to your very first Property Investor Network meeting completely free of charge. I want you to come along and see what you've been missing out on. If you've been before, you know how valuable they are. I we'll hope to see you at the very next month's meeting. Invest with knowledge, invest with skill. Hello, it's Simon Zucci here. I do hope you just enjoyed that YouTube video. And you know what? If you really want to move forward in your property investing, it's much easier to do it with the help of other people. And one of the best things you can do is go to your local property investor network meeting where you can meet other like-minded people. You can learn some of the very best strategies and really get a, a motivational positive boost every single month about what you could achieve from your property investing. Now, there are 50 plus meetings around the UK. We've got meetings in the Netherlands, we've got them in the UAE as well, and growing around Europe. So all you have to do is click on the link below this video, go to pinmeeting.co.uk, all the meetings are listed there, click on the one that's closest to you, see when the date and time is, and if you want to attend that meeting, you're gonna just buy a ticket, or if you want to come as my guest to your very first PIN meeting, just use the voucher code, which is the word YouTube, because obviously you've watched the YouTube video, so just go to pinmeeting.co.uk, pick your location, scroll down where it says payment options, click on pay with a voucher code, fill in the details, use the word YouTube and it will bypass the payment page and you can come to your very first PIN meeting for free. If you haven't been yet, I highly recommend you come along and see exactly what you've been missing out on. You're gonna wish you would have gone years ago. It's gonna help you move forward massively with your property investing. So if you enjoy these videos, I highly recommend you go and check out the PIN meeting. Click on the link below in the description. Invest with knowledge, invest with skill and enjoy the next video.